Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial of Arduino. In this video, we will learn a basic introduction of Arduino and also learn what actually Arduino is. What do you think that what must be Arduino? What first comes into your mind must be that Arduino is a board just like a microcontroller that is used to make projects or any device that is useful for a day-to-day -day life. But I would like to tell you that Arduino is not a board. Actually, Arduino is an open source hardware and a so software company that manufactures Arduino boards which are of various types using different microcontrollers and has many types. So, I would like to show you one of the types of Arduino that is Arduino Uno which just looks like this. This is a Arduino board with Atmega328 as its SMD microcontroller. This Arduino board is having 14 digital input output pins and six analog input output pins and here there are reset vcc ground and all where there are two types of vcc one is 3.3 volt and the other one is 5 volts and here there is aref ground this one is to connect the data cable so that you can communicate it directly to your computer or your laptop. This is just to give the power supply and this is all other basic components that are used to make Arduino board. So I would like to show you the various types of boards that are available in the market. Here are some of the boards that are available in the market that are made up of 8 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller these are also having some basic specifications like its operating voltage clock speed digital input outputs analog input output pwm that is pulse width modulation uart universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter and the programming interface that is that it used so these are some of its types and I'm going to make some projects and show you how to work on it using this Arduino Uno board that I just show you before. So before starting with Arduino, I would like to tell you which software are we using and from where we can download it. The software that we are going to use is Arduino IDE and I'm using 1.8.3 that is the latest version of the Arduino board till now. So you can download it from www arduino.org just go to downloads Since Arduino IDE is an open source, so we can download it freely from this website. So there are some operating system on which you can download it. As I am using Windows, so I will just click on it. But I will not click on it because I have already downloaded it and installed in my laptop. 
so just click on it and the downloading will start so after the downloading finishes just click on it and install it and when Arduino is installed in your laptops just click on this Arduino and it will open a window where we will make a program compile and upload it to our Arduino board when Arduino IDE opens it will just looks like this this is file where there are many options new to create a new file open to opening the file open to opening the recent files that I have made before and open sketchbook sketchbook is just the same the files because here the code written is named as a sketch or we can rename it in examples there are basic examples that you can study and learn from it there are many of it there are many more like for the Wi-Fi things big THT sensor PFT screen stepper servo SD robot motors and a lot more so you can learn here without anyone's help also so just communicate it with your Arduino board but for communicating it to your Arduino board you have to install a drivers for it because you are using the SMD 8 mega 3 to 8 Arduino board so you will need the drivers for Arduino that is CH341 but if you are not using the SMD device then there is no need to install those but if you are using this SMD device then you have to install it like I am having the drivers just click on this setup yes and just click on the install this is showing driver install failure because I have already installed these drivers in my laptop so I don't need to install it but you have to install it because you haven't installed it yet so just cross it cross it and again come back to your RDM this button is for verify or we can say this is just for the compiling of your code if there is any error it will show here the at the bottom in this output window and this is upload from here you can upload your code directly to your microcontroller or we can say your Arduino board because Arduino facilitate us to directly communicate it to a laptop and here are some examples and in the tools here is a port option when you will connect your Arduino board to your laptop then here there will be a COM board that you have to select and after that you can only do your programming because without selecting this COM board it will not communicate your Arduino with your laptop so first you have to select this port after only after then you can communicate your Arduino with your laptop and in the sketch there is include library like in the C program and any, any other programming language you add many header files so these are just the header files which you can include from here also like if you want to add this DHT library just click on it and it will just include the header files of this DHT sensor and you can code accordingly and in an easy way so this was it 
for today i hope you just like my video so if you like this video please click on like button and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching this video